Hello everybody, Ark over here. Getting back to some more Let's Play Time Spinner. You bastards. Gun orb. <laughs> I can shoot people now. Time Spinner gear. Another tuning gear for the Time Spinner. Just one more and I could save Wendaria. I could save my clan. You've been changing time a lot, Lunai. That's my job. It's my duty. I can kill Nuvius now thanks to the changes I made. Everything you do changes the timeline, changes the future. You've seen the effects of it. Yeah, Lakiem here has changed. It's grown weaker. And those statues and things? All the changes are good. You can achieve your goal. You can stop. I know that. But, there are forces in the universe besides you humans. Like the demons, and like you, right? Just be careful. Some of them don't like when you change things. A lot is sacrificed. Our dreams are getting full. What's that mean? Whatever.
Oh, I need those bastards too, don't I? No. I don't. How to get over there? I don't think I can now that I turned the power off here. And I don't know if I can turn the power back on here. Looks like it's full of old historical documents about the War of the Sisters. Nothing seems that useful, though. Man, I need more warp shards. I don't think I can get any further in the sealed caves, even though I have A, because I don't think there's any power to this door. Oh, there is power to this door. It was an A rank door, or maybe a V rank door. Oh, I, I forgot about those. Shake your little wiggly mushrooms all you want. I want 
I go there yet? That's where I wanted to go. The Seal Caves music is just super ominous. He attacked. Bird statue. Rinse chaos. playing really dumb right now. <laughs> I 
Let's try this again with a whole lot less stupid. Amazing what you can do when you actually play smart. Tuning gear three needed to accurately use the time spinner third instead of three. The third tuning gear with a working time spinner like the one Genza had, I could save my clan. I could change time the way I was always supposed to. They are growing more powerful. What? Who? The forces of the universe every time you change time. Right, you mentioned. You must be careful, Lunai, if you change time too much. Like doing what I was supposed to do this whole time? You've already changed so much, too much more could be disastrous. He grows more powerful, but he can't keep up. He would have no choice but to do something drastic. What are you saying, that I can't save Wendaria? That these gears are useless to me? That I've been wasting my time? No, no sacrifice is wasted. If, if you are powerful enough, maybe you could stop him. I'll stop anyone who gets in my way. I wonder who he's talking about. Freaking, I don't wonder. I, I know exactly who he's talking about. And it's awesome. Oh, you bastard. I had to go to the sealed caves.
so we can do a lot of stuff. Galaxy Stone, an extremely rare gemstone, contain looks like it contains a sea of stars. Everything in the sealed caves. Shoot him with the gun. Gun shooting. All right. All right. Let's check out the journal. Read some downloads and then we're gonna call it. <clears throat> Experiment number 11. The subject exhibited an advanced growth rate, as well as an addition of new psychic abilities. Despite the subject's parents being completely void of any talent, although my colleagues consider this experiment to be a failure, as we've yet to achieve our true goal, I believe it at least a step in the right direction. This will serve as a springboard for my next experiment. As a side note, some of my colleagues appear to be squeamish about the lengths we are going to for this research. I do not blame them. The process of splicing unknown organic material into the embryo of a Windarian commoner is quite a leap for most modern scientific techniques. I know I do evil, but I posit that a re that's re blah, blah. but I posit that reaching further faster is ultimately our ethical imperative. Scientific advancement beyond Amadeus's designs will allow us to move beyond dependency on the demons. We will bring order to the Empire. Is that not the true Lachemi way? By the results of my last few experiments, I decided to try splicing biotech DNA into that of a grown Lakiami nobleman. Monstrous, yes, but our emperor has given me leeway in my work. He appears to be very happy with my ability to make political opponents disappear. A fortunate side effect, I suppose. The effects of splicing on the subjects occurred very quickly, but not without apparent physical discomfort on the subject's part. And the final beneficial results are a rapid growth in the body's size and strength, much faster than any run-of-the-mill DNA enhancements which are so popular among the wealthy, as well as a marked improvement in magical ability. However, the negative side effects of the procedure, such as skin sloughing off and an irregular restructuring of muscles, have made this procedure unfit for any practical applications. The results of this experiment seem consistent with demonic designs. I have seen this sort of monstrosity before. I am not yet free of their influence. Perhaps we must move beyond their biotechnical designs altogether. I will do whatever it takes. 
I will have to meditate on this. Origins. There is a strong psychic aura possessed by the biotech monstrosities Amadeus has helped us design. I now know why. Between my reverse engineering and some further research into the history, of all things, I can only conclude that Amadeus is a psychic being himself. A demon, to use crude parlance. There is no doubt that his techniques will be of benefit to Lachiem. They've already proven deadly, but there's a reason for the fear their designs engender. He and his kin, for I believe there are more of them, feed on the hatred, disgust, and chaos that follows them. It aids Lachiem for now, but continued reliance on them will not do. Lachiem is built on order, on control. We cannot have such chaos following us everywhere. I must find a way to rid us of these so-called allies. Indeed. Alright everybody, this has been Ark Noah playing Time Spinner. Until next time, stay cool.